What's up everyone here with No Code Devs. And today I'm gonna show you how to automate your LinkedIn posting using an RSS feed of data from Zapier. We're gonna take a large amount of data, pull it into our monday.com work OS, handpick what we want to post, and when we move it into a certain category on our monday.com board, this is gonna automatically post to LinkedIn based upon a set of rules and automations that we do directly within monday.com. This is super cool. It makes automation marketing super easy on LinkedIn. Let's dive in and show you how it works. Okay, so let's go ahead and dive into this. We have landed at our monday.com workspace. And what I've set up here is a simple board from a template, which is the social calendar board. It's nice because it sets up some of the required fields for you that you might have in a social post. I've actually hidden some of them because I wanna keep this super simple, but just know that monday.com has a ton of different templates and themes that you can use to build different types of work OSs, everything from social media calendars to project tracking, tracking, CRMs, and everything in between. If you want to create something from a template, you just hit add and then choose from templates. But I've set up this simple board just to illustrate this use case of automating our sort of social media marketing, in this case to LinkedIn. I think LinkedIn is underutilized in a lot of ways. And if you can add content to LinkedIn on a programmatic basis, I can think it can add a lot of value uh, to your content marketing. So this all takes time. One of the things that we can do is we can pull in content automatically into our monday.com account. And then based upon the content that's in there, we can actually schedule it out by just clicking a button, but we don't have to schedule everything. So we can handpick what we want to go ahead and publish. So I set up three fields here in this monday.com board, just the name of the item, the article URL, and then the LinkedIn posting status. There's one item in here already but I'll show you how we're gonna actually feed content into this board from any blog that has an RSS feed and then automate it so that they come in here and then schedule them out uh, with the click of a button. The way that we're gonna do this is we're gonna head over to Zapier. Zapier is an automation tool that connects to 3,000 apps and you can use this to pull data from an RSS feed into your monday.com account because they have an integration with Zapier. So let's, let's go over here. I've already set up this app, but I'm gonna go through the steps to show you how it works. So when you create a new Zap, you have to choose a trigger and the trigger that I've chosen for this is RSS by Zapier. This is included with Zapier. It's, a, it's one of their sort of pre-built actions, they call it. And you just have to search whenever you create a new Zap for RS and it'll come up right up RSS by Zapier. So whenever we choose that, we want to pick, I'll just choose this here, RSS by Zapier. And there's a couple different options here, new items and multiple feeds. If you were watching multiple feeds, you could do that, but for this, case we're just gonna this example we're just gonna do new item in one feed we're gonna go ahead and click continue in the next step you need to actually put the URL of the, the RSS feed so that it knows what to look at to pull in the data we're gonna actually use the Zapier blog for this example because they have an RSS feed but most blogs do have an RSS feed or if they don't directly there's often tools that create RSS feeds from blogs so you can look into that but Zapier does have a, an RSS feed we can find it at the bottom here. So if we click this RSS link, we get this URL, which is zapier.com slash blog slash feed slash latest. And we go ahead and paste that in here. We don't need a username and password because it's not behind a login wall or a paywall or anything like this. And we're going to keep this different a URL recommended selection chosen. So we'll go ahead and click continue. And it's actually found some of the items in the feed here. As you can see, it pulls in all of this data, like the title, the link of the the URL, the author, the publication date, all kinds of uh, interesting information that we can use when we go ahead and create our post on LinkedIn. So let's go ahead and hit continue. We'll actually choose a different article here because I've already pulled this one in. Here's a different article. This one is 11 employee set of ideas to keep your team engaged. Great. So go ahead and click continue. After you chose your sort of action step, which in this case was RSS feed, 
our trigger step rather, we want to choose our action step, which is create an item in our monday.com account. So all that you need to do here to one click authentication into your monday.com account, you choose Monday as the app, you have to put in your API key, which you can grab right from the settings in your monday.com account. And then once you've done that, you're connected and you just have to choose what event happens whenever a new item comes up in this RSS feed. So there's all kinds of things that you can do, which is really cool. Everything from deleting items to moving things around in your monday.com account. But in this instance, we wanna go ahead and actually create an item in our board. So this is our board. We wanna just create a new item in this board, which we've named review here. So let's go ahead and click create item. We have to choose our account. That's our monday.com account, which again, we've connected. Here's our board ID. This is our group. And then all we have to do is I'll delete these out just to illustrate how it works. But I've just mapped these fields together. If you haven't used Zapier before, it's point and click. It's super easy. So this item name, um, which is item here, we want to go ahead and choose the name of the article. For the article URL, we can actually grab the URL of the article from right here. And then the, the, the final part is what do we want to categorize this on our monday.com board as so we can choose the different sort of statuses, if you will, we're going to go ahead and choose for scheduling. These could be how, whatever you would want, however you set them up, but these are just mapping to this field here. So we have scheduled published and for scheduling. So you're just seeing those options pull in dynamically right into our Zapier account. So we'll go ahead and click for scheduling. Let's go ahead and click continue. As you can see, it's got this information here. We're going to go ahead and test our action. If we hop over here, we should actually see this pull in here in a second, right into our monday.com board. And there it is. It pulled in the new article the article URL and it made the status for scheduling just as we programmed it to do. Now, anytime a, once we set the zap to live, anytime a new article comes through on the Zapier blog, it's gonna pull it right into our monday.com board. So you could set this up for 15 different blogs. It could pull in all the content right into your monday.com board. And then you could just hand pick which one of these you wanna send out to your LinkedIn profile for content marketing. So let me show you how we do that. Monday.com has a ton of different integrations and automations, but for this example, we're gonna actually choose integrate. So integrate, you can think of integrate as third-party apps that you can connect to directly uh, from monday.com. They've built these integrations, so you don't need to use a tool like Zapier because it's built in-house by monday.com. As you can see, there's a ton here. We're just gonna go ahead and choose LinkedIn, and they have some pre-built workflows and the one that we want to change here or select here is when a status changes to something create a new post and share it that's exactly what we want so let's go ahead and click this i've already connected my linkedin account but you could add your linkedin account with a one click workflow here so we'll go ahead and click this and i love how this does this but this is a very like word based word based workflow so when the status changes to so we're gonna choose the LinkedIn posting status changes to scheduled. Then we'll create a new post and share it. When we click the new post, we can actually now map the fields to the data on our monday.com board. So the subject can actually be name. We don't need a text because the, we're just gonna pull in the subject of the post. The thumbnail URL, we could actually grab that from the Zapier, from the blog if we wanted, but because we're gonna pull in the link, it's gonna generate an open graph image automatically, so we don't need to actually worry about pulling in an image here, because it's gonna be generated automatically from the link with the open graph image. So the link URL here, pretty simple. We just choose article URL on our board. Go ahead and click done. So whenever the LinkedIn post, changes to schedule, then it creates a new post and share it. So let's go ahead and add this to our board. It is currently on, we are good to go. So if we jump back here and we choose this to schedule, what's gonna happen, and I'm not gonna do it because I don't actually wanna post this to my LinkedIn, but as soon as we hit scheduled here, this will post 
out to my LinkedIn profile automatically. Now, you could create additional statuses like rejected or for review or something like that where it might go to another manager or another person to review if the post is appropriate for the LinkedIn account, if this is a company account, something like that. There's a ton that you can do, but I just wanted to illustrate how easy it is and simple it is to build like a dashboard of posts right in your monday.com account and automatically post it out to LinkedIn. And once you have this set up, again, you can do this for a dozen blogs if you want. It's all automatic and it's all managed right through this account. I will share a link to this worksheet so that you can copy my workflows as well as this app. Hope this is helpful. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments. Thanks so much.